What's going on everybody? Welcome to Adobe's Learn From The Pro series. My name is Max Novak. Over the past four years, I've created 500 tutorials teaching people how to use Adobe Premiere and After Effects, as well as breaking down some of the most popular music videos on the internet. In this five part series that I'm hosting, I'm gonna show you guys how to create cool, trendy effects. And more importantly, I'm gonna show you how you can control every aspect of your video from the foreground to the background. So let's hop into After Effects and get started. If you'd like to follow along with me, I got this footage royalty free from pexels.com. There's also a wide variety of stuff on Adobe stock. So whatever works best for you in our project bin where we dragged in our original footage. If you just click and select that, you can see some of the properties of that here. So there's my resolution. Here's my frame rate. So I'm going to click this button in the bottom left of my project bin to create a new composition. And I'm going to create that composition with the exact same properties as my footage. So with 3840 height 2160 and then for my frame rates i want that at 25. go ahead and click ok so let's drag my footage into that composition and what we're going to do here is isolate our subject from our background this setup that i'm going to show you is common in a lot of the tutorials that i make on my own channel so to start off all you need to do is double click on your footage until you are in a layer on the top left here you'll see composition and layer if you're still in a composition just double click on your footage again until you're in a layer once you are in a layer all you need to do is go up to the top left and grab your roto brush tool and with this roto brush tool selected we can just click and sort of draw in the general area of our subject so something a little bit like that and now you're going to see how after effects is trying to lock this purple line around our subject. And that's ultimately what we're trying to do with the roto brush process. We want to make sure that this purple line is as close to our subject as possible. So if you normally click and draw, there's your green brush that adds things to the mask. But if you hold down the alt key, you'll see that your brush will turn red with our red brush. We can cut away from the mask and again try and get that line around our subject as best as possible you can use your mouse wheel to zoom and you can hold down spacebar to kind of click and drag around just use your rotor brush tool to make any of these little adjustments to the line also on the left in your effect controls i can add a tiny bit of feather for now just to kind of smooth out that line now a few general rules of thumb for getting the best results with your rotor brushing a lot of it depends on the footage that you are using you'll see if i zoom in here this footage has a decent amount of motion blur and you can see how after effects isn't really locking around the motion blurred parts but just remember if you want the best results if you're shooting the footage yourself try and shoot with a fast shutter speed so so there's minimal motion blur and also try and make sure that whatever your subject is wearing doesn't blend with the background too much so our subject has this very dark outfit the background is very light so this should be pretty easy so the next step once you have that purple outline around your subject what you want to do is click the page down and page up keys on your keyboard if i click page down you're going to see how that's moving to the next frame of our video what we want to do, we want to keep moving through all of these frames and make any little adjustments that we need to to that purple line. So if I move to my next frame, see how this is kind of popping off him. I'll hold down alt to bring back my red brush and I'll just make that quick, easy fix. So keep clicking the page down key to move to the next frame, make your adjustments and repeat that process over and over until you've masked out everything that you want. So I'm going to go through here add a little quick time lapse again a repeating those exact same steps that i just talked about all right guys so once you've gone through and made all of the adjustments in the area that you'd like to mask we only have a couple more steps to finish this off so underneath your footage you're going to see this gray bar so this is the span of the effect we're going to hold down control alt and use our mouse wheel here just to zoom in i'm going to take this gray bar and just end that at the very last frame that i made a roto brush adjustment on so right there i started roto brushing at the beginning of my footage if you guys started halfway what you want to do is grab the left side of that gray bar and end it right at this square this should be the very first frame where you started roto brushing so you've defined the area that you'd like to freeze the only thing left to do is click this freeze button right here so go ahead and click that and you're going to see after effects do the rest all right guys so after effects has finished masking out the area that we specified to see the results make sure you always switch back to a composition and there you go just like that um, if you click this button, this is the toggle transparency button. We now have a layer that is only our subject with the background completely cut out. And there's so many different things that you can do with this now that you have that set up. Let's take a few steps to make everything look normal. We're going to select this bottom layer here, and I'm actually going to right click and rename this to Rotoed Subject. 
let's select that roto subject layer and we're going to click Control d to duplicate now on the bottom here our original layer i'm going to right click on this and i'm going to rename this to background and on our background layer we're going to go up in the top left to our effect controls and we just want to hide the roto brush tool so what that will do is it'll make our scene go back to looking normal. If you use these buttons on the left, these little eyeballs, you can click them on and off. This will hide the visibility of your layer. If we hide the background, you'll see we have our roto subject on top. So what this allows you to do, if I just click on my roto subject and just drag it over, you'll see we instantly have a duplicate clone. We can put things behind our subject. For example, I'll just grab this little ellipse tool and with no layer selected, I'll just draw a circle so you can take any other footage and drag it beneath your roto subject so it's kind of sandwiched between your roto subject and your background just like that and that allows you to place anything behind your subject so complete control over your entire scene here so hope you guys did enjoy this video part two is going to dive into what we can do now that we have this setup if you'd like to see more from me you can search max novak on youtube or underscore max novak on instagram as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.